Hello and welcome to the second episode of this series about Upnote, being effective with Upnote. Today we're thinking all about organising your notes. In the previous video we talked about creating notes, creating notebooks and the very basic overview of the app. But today we're thinking about the different ways that this wonderful tool lets you organise the notes that you've got. You're going to see that in some ways Upnote is quite similar to Evernote, but there are some key differences. So before we start, let's think. Any note that you have created that's not currently in a notebook, uh, that would include notes that you've created from your all notes list using the, the new note button up here. That would include notes that you've created from the Upnote web clipper, which we'll talk about in a later episode. And it also it would include notes that you've created from the, the global keyboard shortcut that Upnate comes, comes with. All of those are going to start their life in this uncategorized list here. These are all of your notes that are not currently in a notebook. And when it comes to uh, organizing your notes, there are two main ways that you can do that in Upnote. You can do that through notebooks and you can do that through tags. There's a couple of other things that you can do as well, and I'll mention those very briefly towards the end of the video. So firstly, notebooks. Notebooks are primarily found here. They can be nested on multiple different levels. So you'll see some of these have got an arrow. That's because there's notebooks nested underneath. And you can go as deep as, as you want to in those different nestings there. Uh, as I said in the previous video, um, I've yet to test exactly how far you can go with that, but it's it's further than, than I would want to, so that's fairly impressive. There are three places that you can see all of your notebooks. The first is here in the sidebar, where you can, as I said, see the full expanded list. The second is actually here within the note list. So if you click a notebook that has notebooks nested underneath it, you can see all of the notebooks that are nested underneath it and you can click them and then see any further notebooks there. And then the third place that you can see is on the notebooks page. So if you click the word notebooks, it will bring you to this page and then you can see these ones have got notebooks nested underneath. And if you click there, it will take you um, to those notebooks. So how do you add a note to a notebook? How do you organize your notes within notebooks? Well that's done at this little bit down here at the bottom of your screen where you can see it says add to notebooks. If you click that button there it brings up this box and then you can either type um, or you can scroll through all of your notebooks and add it to a notebook. So let's add this one to the Launcher Blog project. Now crucially one of the ways in which Upnote differs from Evernote, for example, is your notes can exist in more than one notebook. So we, make, we might say that this is also something that's to do with study. And therefore your note is in two notebooks and you can see it if you go to uh, your study notebook, here it is, and if you go to the project notebook, it's there again as well. As we go further through this series, I'm going to show you some of the ways in which I use that fact that notes can be in more than one notebook and some of the ways in which it's useful. Uh, you can also remove notes from notebooks down here as well by just clicking the little X button and then, as you see, it's gone from that notebook. At the moment, you can't drag notes um, into notebooks. That's not an option that's available, but that is something that I, I hope they're working on. I think they are for the future. The other way that you can organize your notes is with tags. Uh, again, this is similar to other tools that are out there, but there's a bit of a difference in the, uh, from something like Evernote in that the tags, as you can see a list of tags here, they're actually inline tags. So for example, you type your text. The tag I would like to put here is, and then you do uh, hashtag content. Um, and the, the tag is in the body of the text. Uh, there's three ways that you can see your tags. Uh, I'll just get rid of the notebooks there. So the first is in the sidebar. You have a list of all of the tags 
uh, that you have there. They're ordered however you want them to be, so you can move that one up to the top, for example. By default, any new tags that you create uh, go to the top of the list. Um, you see there, that one's appeared at the top of the list. Now, if you remove that tag from uh, all notes, then you'll see because it's an empty tag, it disappears from the list in the sidebar. The only tags in the sidebar are ones that have actually got notes in them. But you can also manually hide a tag from the sidebar. So you can keep your sidebar list of tags as just as the ones that you use most often and want ready access to. Uh, if you click here, where it says tags, it will take you to the tag page. And this is a simple, basic, alphabetical list of all of the tags you've got, including ones that are empty and including ones that are hidden from your sidebar. And then the last place that you can see tags is from the note information menu. I'll talk about this a lot more in a future episode. But for now, if you click down here on the information button, you'll see here a list of all tags that are present within that particular note. And then if you click the tag, then it will take you to a list of all of the notes that have that tag anywhere within them. So those are the three ways that you can see your tags. Adding and removing tags from a note is really simple as I, as I showed you earlier. Uh, you simply type a hashtag followed by whatever word you want. And if you have tags that are, it brings up this drop down list here. If you have tags that include those characters, then you can select them from the list. Or if you don't, then you can create a new tag very easily, very simply. As I said, these are inline tags. So whilst the note gets tagged as a whole, you have the tag within the text, within the body of the note, and you can click on it from within the note, and that will bring up uh, a list of all tags, <coughs> all notes with that tag. In my view, this is a little bit cleaner and a bit more intuitive way of adding tags than to have to add a tag separately to the note uh, somehow. And those are the two main ways of organizing your notes, notebooks and tags. As I said, there's a couple of other things you can do, which I'm going to go into much more detail on in a future episode. But something that I want to tell you about now is that notes can be starred. And if you star them, they go into your quick access menu, which you can order however you want to. Uh, and they're in your sidebar there for easy access. And you can also, uh, let's just go here. You can see that this note is pinned and you pin a note and whenever you pin a note it always appears at the top of any list in your in your note list whether that's the notebook whether that's the all notes list where you've got all of your notes whether that's uh, the list for any particular tags that you have any note that's pinned will appear at the top of your note list so those are just some of the basic ways that you can organize notes in, in UpNote. And as I'm sure you can see, those different options there mean that it's a very, very powerful application for all of the different ways that you can organize your notes. Some of these things I've mentioned will go into much more detail on a future episode. Uh, if you want to see that, please do like this video. Please do subscribe to this channel. I've got eight more videos planned going through the bare bones basics of UpNote and they'll be released weekly on a Saturday from now on. So please do stay tuned, uh, there's lots more to come.